This is the man hammer. This is the world's first weight hammer. The hammer that I show you here is the very first one we made. I show it to you not because of the beauty and the shine, but rather to show you the durability that has held up since 2013. I have beat the shit out of this hammer with everything I have, all the hatred in my heart, and I have tried to fuck this thing up. I haven't succeeded. That's not to say that down the road somebody couldn't succeed, but it is to say that this thing is solid as hell, and I'm comfortable advertising this thing as indestructible. I'm gonna take you through a workout I had on Saturday. warm-up swings. I used no weight and I just focused on flowing out away from my body. Next, I added weight to the man hammer. The man hammer uses Olympic sized weights, which you can find almost anywhere. That's the beauty of the invention. I'm not going to use a clip to secure the weight, but we do sell the man hammer with a spring collar. We also started including two rubber bands to try an idea out we had which was to use a rubber band as a collar because it would also double as a hand grip. Comment in the comment sections below if you would like to help develop this idea. This was a 75 pound hammer. The man hammer itself is 25 pounds and I have two 25 pound plates on them. This is an aggressive move. It works everything in your body. You are using your body matter, your mass, against this thing's mess. It's like two planets trying to pull on each other. You're trying to pull it into orbit, up to your shoulder, and then you're trying to deliver the blow. I added another 10 for my next set. This is an 85 pound hammer. I got my nerves, I'm ready to go, and here it is. You gotta get aggressive with this move. It's not gonna come to you. You have to attack this thing. Use good form, trying to keep a good stiff core. Now my heavy sets are done.
Now I'm gonna pull the weight off the man hammer. And I'm gonna work on exploring a little bit with my shoulders. A lot of these swings will be new to you. So I'm gonna identify them with a name. Feel free to comment in the comment section and let me know if you agree with the name. I start right now with the midline swing. This to me is like the lockout position of a deadlift. So one that you're really, really strong in. Probably the strongest in your entire body. You have a neutral spine, your hips are locked out, and you're rotating from left to right or right to left. You get a lot of benefit in your obliques and your serratus. Then I move to an overhead to ground swing. I like this because of the amount of space that you cover with the manhammer. You're taking your body to a large range of motion. I follow it up with a low swing in which my legs are very flexed. I'm in probably a half squat position and I'm starting the swing from low and I'm finishing it low. Then I switch to a low uppercut swing. You'll find that this is great hip rotation for uh, like the golf swing. I go back to an overhead swing where I'm starting overhead and I'm stopping overhead, still using the 35 pound hammer, uh, still using no clip, which isn't the way you have to do it. This is a favorite of this workout. This is something that you can't really do with dumbbells. It would kind of look sloppy and gross. Uh, it's a very controlled movement, but it's away from your body. You don't have to swing it or uh, use momentum. You can use control, you can do it really slow. Go with the midline swing again. This is one that you really feel in the obliques. You use your hips to start the movement, and your obliques and your core is what keeps this thing in control. There's also a lot of flex on your arms. I go from a midline swing to an uppercut swing do that kind of stuff seamlessly with the manhammer. It's what kind of makes it creative. You can explore and you can feel it and right through the middle of it you can change the move with the next stroke. Yeah. Hit it son. Yeah. Fucking spent. Good work. It's ultra simple. You can repeat what I did if you want. You can repeat any single part of what I did if you want. You don't have to do these swings. You can create swings. You can send us your swings and we can publish them if you want. We can do whatever you want. We are the Manhammer Company, and we thank you for watching.